Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Vicky City Stand Up. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to properly, effectively, efficiently using Cracking the Coding Interview Book. This is the so-called holy bible of coding interviews specifically for software engineer to get a software engineering job but if you don't have this book you're probably not searching on this video so um, go ahead and check out this book if you can it says it has 189 programming questions and solutions attached to this book and the first thing that I want you to know is actually this book is not that big this is the materials that you have to read through and the rest of this is just solutions and hints for the solutions. If you really think about it, it was just this much. I actually wanted to go deeper into this book and literally walk you through how you should use this book for your advantage. Two mindsets while you're reading this book. The first part of the mindset is actually reading as you reading a good article. And I think that it really walk you through how the interview process is, um, what are some of the big fan companies go through their interview process, and specifically what you should do before the interview, during the interview, and after the interview. The second part of this book is all the interview questions that breaking down into different chapters into different types of um, interview questions that you're gonna encounter and when you are reading those questions those interview questions I want you to read it as a math textbook which means you read the example you read the descriptive um, paragraphs and then you do the questions the key of this is to do the questions and I would say that from chapter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 chapters. I want you to focus from chapter 1 to 5 and also 7 to 10. And I think that those are the really common ask interview questions that you might encounter in interviews. Arrays and strings, link lists, stacks and cues, trees and graphs. And I think that there's like one chapter that is math and logic puzzles. And I know that some companies might ask those questions, but like I don't see a lot of the companies are asking those questions. So um, it might not be one of your priorities when you're going through um, all of these chapters. But bit manipulations might not be the most asked like type of questions in interviews, but like sometimes um, it helps you to stand out from other candidates because I think I have friends definitely got asked those questions from some really prestigious um, tech companies. To what extent do you need to use this book? I usually read through those chapters and find those questions and try to solve it on my own. And I also look for the specific relating chapters in Lico and look through the similarity of those questions and finding the same kind of pattern, how I would solve those questions and try to do those questions on Leco and see how much I can solve them. For example, let's look at the link list in chapter two. I will go through reading the first page and the second page of the techniques and things that they talk about on link list. And then I'll look at the questions, like the interview questions, and I'll try to think about how I would approach those questions. And if I run into problems and if I get stuck when I was going through these questions, then I'll go to the um, solution or the hint page to try to get some hints out of these questions. After I study for a while, I need to take a break. And when I go through the second round studying the same kind of topic, I'll go to Lico and try to look for linked list related questions. And I usually just do the easy ones because the easy ones are already pretty difficult and pretty tricky. So you want to get familiar with the easy ones first on Lico and try to go through those questions and then go back to the interview questions and see if you can answer those questions after you've done some Lico practice. Every chapter is based off very specific topics. So you want to go either in depth into specific topics and practice over and over and over or you can do like a whole week and studying different like you know three topics in like different time um, of that week and try to practice like different um, 
problems at the same time and you're gonna start recognizing a lot of the patterns in the solutions and being able to solve them I also want you to really keep in mind of what kind of companies that you are trying to get in and what kind of companies you're interviewing with because based of the companies and based of the actual position specifically you are interviewing at um, there's gonna be some weight on different types of interview questions that you might encounter so for instance if you are interviewing for more of a back-end position you might encounter more data structure algorithm questions that are specifically about sorting or even like trees if you are in a more of front-end position you might expect a little bit less of those questions and you might actually expect more of about arrays and strings and 2D arrays or hash tables or um, those type of questions. That is not one rule applied to all companies and really depending on the companies and you really do want to do a lot of research. Your R companies are not going to specifically ask you traditional algorithm or cracking the code interview lead code type of questions. They might ask you more of an open-minded um, problem solving question. So you want to get a sense of idea how this company is asking you for those questions. Oh, that was a lot of information I know that I just like inject into your head and you're just like boom what the heck that's so much information that was just like happened like why am I going through this and remember you already done the hardest part which is like learning how to code so cracking the coding interview is definitely gonna be another learning curve it's not gonna be easy if it's easy everyone would have been doing it ultimately your brain is going to get so used to those questions and you're going to do so well on your interview. I hope this video is helpful. Give me a thumbs up or share this video for someone who are also needed some help on this Cracking the Coding interview book. What is your way that you would approach the Cracking the Coding interview? Please leave the comments down below. Thank you so much for turning in and watching my videos and I always appreciate that. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Please stay safe and stay healthy. If you are interviewing, good luck, good luck, good luck. Bye.